good foggy morning. We're so glad you're here. Look how foggy it is. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It is so, it's not coming through at, oh, that's better looking how foggy it is. But it is so foggy. 7 a.m. leaving, leaving class, Warren Siri. It was good, it was good. <laughs> Me and Jamesy are gonna are gonna do a little day in our life Ooh. vlog today. That's like what our daily vlog is, but like we're gonna I feel like it's cool if we do these like every few months because like things are always changing. Like I know baby's coming home soon. Yeah. And people like to see his milestones and what we do. So we wake up. James wakes up on his own between like seven and eight every day. Which is lovely for me because I like sleeping. <laughs> Can we start with a little bottle situation? But this bottle is like is totally just like his little plant-based milk that he likes. We switch it up. Almond, oat milk, coconut milk, soy milk. So usually, right in the morning, while James plays, I'll either just hang out on the couch or try to be somewhat productive, but he has like a little bit of independent playtime where he's like so excited to see his toys to start the day. Today, I have this gigantic pile of laundry, twofold. And some days Peter's here. Some days he has meetings. My veins are a little lighter today. That's good. So we got Bluey on. I feel like we, uh, we've been watching Bluey lately even more than like Jamesy. He likes, he does like it, but Peter and I find it very funny. So breakfast for Jamesy is typically pretty casual and we are so low on groceries. We did not go grocery shopping yesterday. This is unfortunately one of Evie's favorite snacks too. Ma'am. So today we're just gonna have some goldfish crackers, apple and peanut butter, and I'll eat some of it too. And we'll just typically eat this out in the living room, maybe even on the couch. Um, while well, we got a movie on. And whatever productive thing I'm doing probably doesn't get done in one go, but it'll be a work in progress throughout the day. I've also chatted before about like TV time and whatnot. And so typically in the morning we can fit in two different movies. One will probably be one that he like, he cho not necessarily chooses, but like a newer movie that I know like he likes. Um, like today he kept on bringing Elsa over to us so I put on Frozen. Um, not to say that he was like saying to put it on, but that's just how it made the choice today. And then uh, we're doing our Disney movie rewatch. Yesterday was Pocahontas, so I have to see what is today. So it'll probably be this movie and then that movie. And then we'll have the TV off before nap time and usually like when he eats his first little lunch. Funny enough. 
our chronological watch of all Disney films. Today we have Toy Story. You found Evie? So two important parts of Jamesy's morning <laughs> right now are one, putting antifungal cream on his feet because he's got athlete's foot. And two, doing a more casual brush of his teeth. So because Jamesy's teeth need a little bit more care or attention, um, he's got that little chip in front. We're not certain if we're gonna get it filled yet, but just in general, he has poor enamel and that's just something like he was born with and so we're making sure we really get two brushes in a day so like i said the morning brush is a little bit more casual and so now i'm just gonna chase him around honestly we really don't like sit and watch the movies that we have on like sometimes if james like is going into the kitchen like i'll just be like okay like let's let's have a snack let's throw you in the um the high chair and have you eat something now. It kind of just like really go with the flow. Like I would say everything about our schedule is pretty go with the flow. Um, but it's nice for my own like ease in my mind to be like, okay, after we watch two movies, the TV goes off and we might go on a walk if it's nice enough. We might just keep on playing. Um, and every day is kind of different. So we're kind of in that like no structure mode after he gets his toothbrush after breakfast make sure he, he does his little lotion on his toes but we're just kind of playing and enjoying you know enjoying whatever we end up doing also i really struggle with getting myself ready because i could just be in pajamas all day um but it's much easier for me to like oh yeah i can go outside or take evie out with james or do any of those things if I change my clothes. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. Our kitchen is in a bit in disarray, but that's just real life. I just feel like his nap time falls like kind of like a funky time during the day. So we do like kind of like two big snacks or like two little lunches. Um, and this is my time to get stuff done in the kitchen, like load the dishwasher, wash bottles, that sort of stuff. I said it before and I'll say it again. We really need to go grocery shopping. So right now he's having figs and crackers and um, like his main like dish is going to be pot stickers that I just like chop up and put soy sauce on um, that he really likes. So that's what he is going to eat. He has been getting a little bit antsy in the seat. Like before I feel like he would just like hang out a little bit more, but now he's like so on the go. Um, so this time isn't as like always guaranteed. I don't always get everything I wanna get done in here done, but it's good. It's good for him to kind of like do some eating on his own, I get stuff done, and then we just take it for whatever we can get. Are you tired? Gosh. And again, I want to be fully transparent about this little like full on day in my life because we daily vlog, you guys see what we do. But this is actually like a step by step that I've never really done before with James. Um, that every day truly looks different. Sometimes we eat lunch on the couch. Sometimes it's fruit and organic yogurt and leftovers or something really, you know, thought out and prepped. And sometimes it's chips <laughs> and it's just sometimes it I don't do a single thing as I feed him like I'm not productive I don't get our dishes done Peter will like literally wash 
one bottle before bedtime because everything else is dirty. <laughs> what are those eyebrows? <laughs> so I just say today's like a middle ground day. Like I didn't put a bib on James. He's filthy. You know, like it's, it, I'm, I'm not feeling my most prepared, but I'm also not my least prepared. So I thought it'd be a good day for me to show. Um, so now is our time before nap where the TV is off. Today I chose to put on, um, on Spotify, there's a playlist called Harry Potter Happy Mix. So it's like none of like the spooky music. So just have the music on, we'll play, I'll read a couple books and we'll just be calmed down before we go to a nap, which is five and a half hours from whenever he wakes up. So it depends on when he wakes up today. It was like 7.30. Um, so quick math. He'll go down at one. You love those Aristocats? Meow. Okay, Jamesy is down for his nap. I feel like I was doing such a good job at like updating in the moment. Um, but staying in our nap time routine, I just kind of was like, it was totally over my head. So he goes down um, after we just like have our quiet time. He'll go down, I'll lay with him with a bottle right now. I'm just doing two ounces of formula still mixed in with one of his plant-based milks, probably like two or three more ounces of the other milk. Um, I'm just, I want him to get the vitamin D from the formula. So he's really only on four ounces a day, once at nap time, once at bedtime. Um, but we're definitely, he eats plenty to, to kind of like balance that out. So we're kind of just in the process of like being done with formula, honestly, on like, this might be our last one that we ever buy. Um, and he goes down fine with just plain, just milk too. It's not like he needs the formula for like, taste to sleep um so beforehand we just kind of like hang out in his room i put on rain noise i give him a fresh diaper and he kind of like gets the calming down feeling it's kind of like our shortened version of bedtime and then i'll lay with him until he falls asleep with the bottle and then i'll give him a little bit of water to make sure he's not sleeping with the milk on his teeth and then he'll go down for two hours. So I'm gonna finish up the laundry. Typically at this time, I would edit the vlog, but we don't have a vlog today because we're going live later. So I'm gonna finish the laundry and then I'm tr I've am i been like really good at like uploading our photos by the month, but I got behind last summer when my mom was sick and I'm still playing catch up. So I think I'm gonna do some of that. Two hours later. Okay, James, he's up from his nap. Dad is done with work somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> Let go. I was gonna say Jamesy finally learned. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Jamesy learned to let go. <laughs> You're not doing it right now. <laughs> when Peter threw him up in the air, he he was actually letting go. You Looney Tune. <laughs> <laughs> let go of me. <laughs> Watch your movie. And I am poop. I did a whole vlog of my day, Peter. Great. Great. And after his nap, James, he's just been playing. We've been, he's like really enjoying like, not, not super structured hide and seek, but just like we walk and then we like run away and like go like in the, just inside the bathroom or go just inside our room. So do that and... I'm very tired, but I'm also very excited for our live stream. And I started packing, which we will talk to you about later. Let's see how this live stream goes with Mr. Curious Pants. You tired? All the laundry folders well, just are Christmas. I need your assistance folding those last Christmas sheets. But I folded all the laundry. Yay, you're a champion. 
So do you want to tell them that we're going to Florida? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Florida. Yeah. So it's um, it's not like the trips we've been doing. Yeah. Um, but there was basically been... like something. Anything is better than nothing. Yeah. So <laughs> this is exciting. Baseball season starts this week. All right, Jewel. We're gonna do mini grocery haul because we're leaving again, but we still need food. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> we're fading fast, said Jewel. We're almost done. We did something a little blasphemous and got some jar of sauce, but. I didn't think we were gonna tell anybody that. <laughs> doing such a good job today with my day in the life but I guess it's true most days I start off strong and then I just five o'clock hits and I'm toast um, we went to Jewel got groceries and for tonight we're having frozen pizza which I'm like strangely pumped for but it's already nine o'clock today's message Tuesday April 5th Tara Westover, I've never heard that name once in my life. I don't think education is so much about making a living, it's about making a person. Ooh, Tara. I that dig was actually it. by Ben Earhart, because it's his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Ben. Did you watch the live stream earlier today? Because if you did, you would know that I have to be in my work office next week. And if you've been watching us for some time, you know that, where's my work office? Orlando. Wait a minute. So if I'm going to be in my work office Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week in Orlando, where are you going to be? I'm hopping in your suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Sunday, we are flying down to Orlando. Sarah, James, and I. Eve is going to stay with the Sicards. They're going to doggy sit for us. And uh, we're gonna stay with the Petruses Sunday mm -hmm. night, so you get to meet Phil Moore in our Yay, vlog. And we can't we can't wait to meet him either. And then uh, Monday and Tuesday we'll be at one of my company's resorts. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the office all day Monday, all day Tuesday, all day and Wednesday. Like, Got to work. Yeah, like, I will Where's be there mostly <laughs> to work. Sunday after an evening, like I'll get to play with Sarah and James in the parks. We're gonna go to a park Sunday, and then I'll meet up with them after work. A park. Take a wild guess which one. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, like I'll get done at the office at like five, deal with I four traffic, get to the uh, wherever they are on property, probably a park or maybe a resort, by like six maybe. So it'd be like like the old days of living in Orlando, where it's like we would be in the park where for like two hours. Sarah and James will be in the park like all day. Yeah, or it depends on how I'm feeling yeah. and how he's doing. We probably. Will between a park and resort and yeah. we'll figure it out but, but on Disney it's property very exciting and just what we need I think I think we needed it I think so too we were really close to booking like not coming north to Chicago after we were leaving Jacksonville North Carolina we're last week nine hours away yeah. but it's just like the cards did not Airbnb like, and the cards like and did not fall yeah. in place but this works out because this did this was like potentially going to happen before we had to go to uh, out east for family travels um, but nothing was confirmed. But then when I talked to talking to my boss uh, on Monday about it, we came we we came to the conclusion that like there's some things I need to be in the office for that are happening next week. Um, so I'm flying out for work. There's like a Lola and the Cubs games. It's my off week for appointments. Appointments. And it's like the last week. I can really travel. Yeah. With um, how far along in the pregnancy I am, so it's very exciting. So there will be Disney vlogs. Next week. Next week. Two, three days of them. Mm -hmm. It's, it's good, good to be, be home. home. Oh, jinx. But, like, Disney Springs isn't in our plans yet. But I said on the live stream, like, we follow our heart and our feelings. Yeah. So we could just, like, James has never been on a boat. Disney Springs boat. You, that was your trip by, done by yourself. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to do that on my trip done by myself. Yeah. We'll so. see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I have an idea. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>